Yo, what is up? It is your boy Zether. Back with part three to what if Naruto had absolute cancel? So, as I clearly saw from the last video, you guys absolutely demolished the like button. And, you know, here I am bringing you guys part uh, three to it. So, last part we had basically left off with the ending of the Konoha Crush arc. And the start of the, the search for Tsunade arc. Now, at this point, Naruto would have basically uh, had his badge ready. And basically told Jiraiya that he's ready to get off. Uh, I mean, go off. This is when Jiraiya and Naruto would basically just go off and go on to their mission and basically just go by. As the trip is going by, Jiraiya would basically be teaching Naruto how to per, uh, how to get better with Taijutsu as well as how to create more attacks. At this point, Jiraiya would have uh, told Naruto that he he can probably teach him a couple other jutsus that Naruto doesn't know. And this is when Naruto would ask him like what? And Jiraiya would begin to actually start teaching him the water dragon jutsu. Naruto would actually be pretty amazed by this since he said that he's only seen Kakashi do it once and he would begin to tell, uh, what's it called, he would tell Jiraiya that he wants to learn it. Now Naruto would actually, instead of learning the Rasengan in this time, he would actually end up just learning the water dragon jutsu during this time. And also, for those of you who wanted me to get, nah nah nah, I ain't gonna spoil that, I ain't gonna spoil that. But uh, he basically ends up walking, right? The trip just goes with basically the basics, as, as it would in canon with Jiraiya going off to do his research and Naruto practicing his uh, water dragon jutsu. Now, they're going to arrive in a small town where they get to a hotel and Jiraiya basically gives Naruto the keys to the hotel. Now, Naruto would basically go into the room and just kind of be resting while all of a sudden he hears a knock at the door. He basically goes to the door and this is when he would basically see Kisame as well as Itachi. As soon as he sees them, he sees that, that they're in these robes and the, he, uh, Kisame would try to attack Naruto with the sword. Now this is when Naruto would jump back and cancel both of their chakras at once and weave the hand signs for the water dragon jutsu. Inside of the building he would go water dragon jutsu and <sighs> a huge dragon would appear out of nowhere. Now this is when Naruto, and, I mean Itachi and uh, Kisame would actually be like, trying to use their chakra to dodge it but they would notice that it's not working so both of them would end up actually getting hit by the attack since they were caught off guard by the fact that they can't use their chakra. They would both be wondering what's going on and Itachi would try to activate his Sharingan but would realize that he can't use it. They would both realize that their chakra has been totally nullified and would look into Naruto's eyes when they would see red coming from him. Itachi and Kisame would both realize quickly that it's coming from his eyes and they would try to take him out as quickly as possible with nothing but physical taijutsu. This is when Naruto would begin to jump from building to building and would try to find Jiraiya but every time he did it he would basically just turn around and whop, lob some shurikens at their direction. They would dodge them pretty easily with Kisame basically blocking with a sword and Kisame's sword would just be empty. The sword wouldn't be in there. He would have nothing but like, actually, no, 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 no. The sword is still there. Just can't absorb chakra and none of that. Yeah, yeah. It seems too overpowered. Naruto would basically do that. And this is when uh, Kisame would be like, what the fuck? Like, he, like this sword is it's, it's weak. It's not absorbing any of my chakra. That's weird. And Kisame would basically begin to like wonder what's going on. Now, this is when Naruto would basically, by the time he's running, Jiraiya would hear an explosion and Jiraiya would appear. This is when Naruto would look at Jiraiya and say, oh, thank God you're here, I need your help. And Jiraiya would appear and as soon as they see Jiraiya, Hitachi would be like, we have to retreat now. We have no chakra and that's the legendary Sani Jiraiya. They know that if they were to engage him now, they would probably die. No, most likely, yeah, they would die if they engaged him now. So this means that Hitachi and Kisame would proceed to try to run away. But Jiraiya would try not to let them. And what's it called? And would try to shoot some of the needles on his on his hair at them but they would dodge them and, and end up escaping now after this happens sasuke would have actually gotten word that itachi and kisame were there but sasuke would have actually arrived too late this would result in no hatred with sasuke he would not be like oh i need more hatred and sasuke wouldn't be as a, as emo as he was in the original version this means that naruto would actually end up taking sasuke with them to the senati retreat and they would basically just be walking and Naruto and Sasuke would just basically be bonding there this time. Training together to try to become stronger than the other. And uh, Sasuke would basically tell Naruto that if it wasn't for that 
jutsu that he for those that genjutsu he has or whatever it is he probably would lose to sasuke and naruto would tell him naruto would look at sasuke and say i probably would but you would also lose to me if you didn't use your shark this one sasuke would say that yeah but that's a part of me and naruto would say exactly this is a part of me too so it's not fair to make me you know have to get uh have to render me render my strongest ability useless for you to win like that's not how it works and sasuke would ponder this for a little bit before then saying you're right naruto now this is when they would basically walk into a random bar when they would actually see Tsunade inside of there when they would see Tsunade, jiraiya would approach her and this is when he would basically go to talk to her like you can now Tsunade would then be like who are these two brats and jiraiya would proceed to say oh them oh yeah well this is my uh this is my student naruto and this is one of his friends sasuke he just decided to tag along with us to come search for him and so now they would be like why'd you bother <laughs> pick up and then like be like i'm not going back with you guys anyways screw the hokage this is when Tsunade would begin to disrespect all of the previous hokages before her and this would make naruto pretty angry now, when Naruto hears all of this, he would be really, really angry, actually. He'd be like, how dare you disrespect the Hokage's, you old hag? Like, this is why you're in a dead-end bar and you have no life. And Tsunade, ooh, after hearing that, she would smash the table and, and try to hit Naruto. But Naruto would cancel her chakra, resulting in her becoming old again. She would, she would show her true form, as well as take away her her strong abilities for hitting hard this means that Tsunade would be like what is going what's going on and Naruto would say no I think you need to take it back this is when he would proceed to punch her outside of the bar and Tsunade would be coughing up blood she'd be like what the fuck and Naruto would then say it isn't funny when you're on the other side of the of the stick is it you tried to hit me didn't you with all of your strength well, let's just see how you like it. And Jiraiya would basically get in front of Naruto and tell him he needs to stop it now. There's one Naruto would look at Jiraiya and tell him why. She tried to kill me. If that punch would have landed at full strength that she was trying to use, I could have died. This is when Jiraiya would think about this and say, he has a point. So Naruto would proceed to try to slam a Rasengan into her, but he would then calm down and be like, oh, whatever. He would give Sonari her chakra back and she would turn young again and get all of her strength back. This is when Tsunade would be like, what What was that power? And Naruto would tell her that he has the ability to cancel chakra. And Tsunade would actually be like really, really scared of this ability. She'd be like, holy shit. This kid could kill me if he wanted to. And Tsunade would also be extremely angry, be like, you brat, how dare you turn me into my old self? And Naruto would say, I didn't know you were this ugly. And Tsunari and Naruto would get off to a really rocky start, but I'm just going to say it. After a little bit of being together, Tsunari would actually grow a little fond of Naruto. This one Naruto would proceed to tell her that if it wasn't for Jiraiya, he would have slammed the Rasengan into her. And she would be really shocked, thinking, this boy has the Rasengan? And Jiraiya would tell her that, yeah, I taught him it a, a little while ago. And Tsunari would say, what? It's not even recent? Like, he learned it a while ago? She would be impressed by him and tell him that if... He, he's not lying that she'll go back to the village with him. Naruto would perform a Rasengan and she would be kind of amazed thinking, okay, a bet's a bet. And she would basically decide to go back to the Hidden Leaf Village with him. Now, when she goes back to the Hidden Leaf Village, uh, she decides to go back to the Hidden Leaf Village, meaning no Orochimaru encounter. And uh, that would basically be it for the end of, no, 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 that wouldn't be it. Like there would be no Orochimaru thing. Now, as for the Sasuke uh, retrieval arc, this is going to change drastically. Once they arrive back, so Nari actually ends up healing all of the injured people. Uh, Kakashi, actually. Kakashi, as well as some of the injured people from the Konoha Crush arc. And this is when Sasuke would basically <clears throat> tell Naruto that they should fight. But he wouldn't be on that bitch boy term of if he loses, he's going to basically run away. No, there would be none of that. They would get into a... Uh, a spar and Naruto would win just like Sasuke would have expected and Sasuke would be like wow that ability of yours Naruto it's really strong and so Naruto would say yeah it's my ace in the hole and Sasuke would tell him that if he doesn't use that he won't use his charm now this is when Naruto would actually agree to those terms and say all right you're on Sasuke and they would proceed to fight 
no Sharingan versus no absolute, no cap, no, no eye of, eye of, what did you guys, man, I'm about to just go into one of my videos and see what you guys had said. So, on the last part, you guys had said that his eye should be called full cancel, huh, I kind of like that one a little bit. What about, hmm, let's see. Not really seeing full cancel. I cancel the the red curse eye. The red curse eye. I kind of like this. The red curse eye. No, the eye of erasing. I like that one. The eye of erasing. He would say, and I won't use my eye of erasing. Not my eyes of erasing. Not eye. And this is when they would proceed to get into a battle. The battle would actually end up with Naruto actually stalemating Sasuke. Or would yeah he would stalemate Sasuke. Let's just say that he stalemates Sasuke. This is when Naruto would realize that he has, he needs to, he needs more room to grow. And Sasuke would realize that he's not that far off from Naruto. Realizing that if he trains harder, maybe one day he'll be able to defeat him. And Sasuke would get a huge amp and a huge desire to get stronger. Not for Itachi or for his own selfish sake, but just to become stronger to prove to himself that he's a strong and capable shinobi just like Naruto. Now, as for the sound four... They would arrive to the village and Naruto and Sasuke would have actually been walking around at the park, just kind of talking and catching up, when suddenly the sound four appeared. They would try to take Sasuke by force, but Naruto would proceed to cancel all of their chakras and Naruto and Sasuke would actually proceed to body them after that. Sasuke would stab a Chidori into the fat guy, Naruto would proceed to slam Rasengan into the other three, and this is when Kinimaru would arrive. Kinemaru would arrive about the next day when uh, trying to capture uh, Sasuke, but Kinemaru would actually be successful. This is when he would begin to take Sasuke halfway, but Naruto, Naruto would have gotten wind of this and immediately rushed, trying to catch up to Sasuke. Now, he ends up catching up to Kinemaru, and as soon as he gets there, Kinemaru is thinking that this guy is a threat. He needs to take him out immediately. He tries to use his bones, but Naruto cancels his chakra, resulting in he loses that ability, and Naruto proceeds to body him. This is when he would take Sasuke back to the village and Sasuke would thank Naruto for helping him get free of them. Sasuke actually wouldn't end up going with Orochimaru in this version since he doesn't think that gaining power in terms of chakra would be that useful for him since Naruto could just cancel it. And Sasuke would decide to just stay in the village and train there with Naruto. Now this is when we're going to go ahead and get into the time skip and Jirai would actually offer Naruto to go train with him. This is when uh, Hinata would get wind of this and uh, she would basically go to Naruto and ask him if he's going to go. And Naruto would tell her that yeah, he's going to go train with Jiraiya with Sasuke and she would be like, with Sasuke too? This is when Naruto would actually tell Hinata that she should take this time to train herself. And he would uh, basically get her introduced with Tsunade. This is when he would basically tell her that if she could learn Tsunade's immense strength, she could probably catch up to Sasuke and himself. And she would be really inspired, like thinking that Naruto couldn't work for me to get stronger, so I'll get stronger for him. And yeah, Hinata actually ends up getting a uh, top from Tsunade. Now as for Naruto and Sasuke. Now Naruto and Sasuke would have actually both ended up learning the Sage Mode during this time. Naruto would have learned the Rasen Shuriken, Sasuke would have learned the Kiri. Sasuke would have actually learned how to master a lot of the things that he ended up doing with Orochimaru. And Naruto would have learned to become way stronger in terms of Taijutsu. He would be really, really OP in terms of Taijutsu prowess. He would also have learned a plethora of new Jutsus and would have actually gained access to all five chakra natures during this time. With that comes a lot of Jutsus that are really, really, really interesting. And Naruto would have basically befriended the Ninetales during this time. During this time, Naruto would have actually gotten in contact with the Ninetales. And the Ninetales would basically be training Naruto. Not training him, but the Ninetales would at this point be cool with Naruto. He would let him use a bit of his chakra, but wouldn't give him access to KCM yet. Since he's not that cool with him at this point. At this point, Naruto could probably handle about four tails of the Ninetales chakra. Just like in canon. And that would basically be that as for the time skip. Now, boys, I know that this is a little bit of a short one, but I don't really want to get into the other arcs in the rest of Naruto because if I do that, the, it'll probably be a one more part after this. 
But if I end it here, I could probably push out like two more parts of this series. Because I'm uh, not gonna lie, boys. You already know, absolute cancel, no chakra in the world of Naruto. That's instant GG. Like, how do I even elongate a battle? But uh, yeah, with that being said, boys, if you guys want the next part, definitely gonna need you guys to drop about, uh, let's go with 20 likes. Definitely gonna need you guys to drop 20 likes today. For this video, if this video ends up getting 20 likes, I'll be dropping part four tomorrow. Since, you know, it's New Year's Eve, so I'm definitely gonna be, uh, if anything, posting the parts that you guys end up liking for tomorrow because, you know, I'm gonna be out here celebrating. But uh, yeah, with that being said, Zether, out.